Hello and welcome to the training for creating a discount list in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Today we'll go over how to create a discount list and then how to associate that with a product that you can use in an order. So the first thing we want to do is to create that discount list. So we'll come up to the top and select settings, product catalog, Then we will select discount lists and we'll select new. So let's say we want to offer 12% on 5 to 25 cases. And you'll see here we can select a type. So if we want our discount to be a percentage, we select a percentage. If we want it to just be a straight amount, we can select amount as well. In our case, we're going to do a percentage. We'll come over here to the left hand column and under common, we'll select discounts and add new discount. And our beginning quantity that we stated earlier is going to be five. And our ending quantity is going to be 25. And our percentage is going to be 12. So now when we are adding that line item on an order, if that quantity is between 5 and 25, we will receive a 12% discount once this is associated with that product. Well, we're going to click Save and Close. Come back. Go back to our product catalog. Go into our families and products. Now we'll select the product that we want to add this to. In our case, it's going to be Pepsi. And you'll see here we already have our price list items um, added to our product. And in our case, we're going to do it on our case. So we'll double click into here. And you'll see over here on the right hand side, there's a discount list filled. Select this, and our discount we want to add to this is 12% off on 5 to 25 cases. And we'll select Save. All right, now let's go over and create an order. We'll select our price list. Potential customer. And now, once we save, we're able to add line items for our products. Click Add an Existing Product. Pepsi. And so we see here that we have three Pepsi products come up because we have those um, product items. We have a palette, a box, and a case. We added our discount to the case. So we select this. We see our price per unit is $8. Our quantity is one. So our amount is going to be eight because it doesn't fall within that discount quantity. So let's put 10 here. And so you can see that 12% is taken up here in the extended amount all the way down to the detail amount and total amount. So if it was the normal price, it would be that 8 times 10 would be $80. So we receive that 12% discount. That will be the case between 5 and up to 25. But if we select 30, that discount is not applied. So thanks so much for watching, and hopefully this helps you out with creating discount lists in CRM.